So I know I can reach forge welding temperature in my mini hand crank forge and it's no worse for wear. But this is essentially just a fire pot and so I plan to make some alterations. But for today I'll leave it as is to work on this maybe silly idea that I have. This is a piece of stainless steel tube. I've got these bits and pieces of tool steel, a spring, uh, an old saw blade here from a Japanese saw and whatnot and I'm thinking of making even smaller bits to fit within the tube and see if I can forge weld them together. I cut the tube in half and crimp one end. I'll put this piece of 1095 within the spring and then put the spring within the tube and then maybe try to shim those pieces of saw blade, those small pieces I cut off along the sides. So I have this suspicion that the steels within the tube, when they reach a forge welding temperature, won't bond to the stainless steel tube and will remain independent. But that's just my guess. I don't know. We'll see. But if the tube does become part of the bits and pieces of tool steel within, that's fine by me as well. The main idea is that I want the tube, when sealed, to act as a barrier and so to replace flux. And then this way I can really crank up a forge and not worry about oxygen ruining the weld. Also trying to forge weld little bits and pieces would be near impossible for me otherwise. I need to give a big shout out to John Besson for his recent very generous donation to the channel. I also need to give a shout out to Stephen Watkins for his latest Super Thanks donation. Thanks fellas for enabling projects like this to continue. At first glance here, it does seem to me like the bits inside have welded, but the pipe has not. The pain with this small charcoal fire pot forge is that the piece keeps wanting to sink as I crank up the heat as the charcoal starts to burn down. It's a bit of a pain because it's hard to fish a piece out and you need to get it out just at that right moment when you're forge welding. Oof, I nailed my anvil. So I call this a semi-success. Uh, the spring is welded, but not on one side. Probably could have had it packed in a little bit better. And it also looks like it was overheated. I quickly dress my anvil just to inspect that nick and see how bad it was. It wasn't too bad, barely noticeable. All right, I've got the other half of that stainless tube, and so I'm going to try again. I've got these pieces of 1095, some slivers of the saw blade, and these other pieces here are actually W1. I think if I had even smaller pieces packed more tightly that that would be best, but I'll give this a go again 
but not use a spring since I'm unsure of what that is and I think that might have spoiled that first go. One caveat, don't try to do this with galvanized pipe. And if you're unsure if a piece is galvanized or not, then don't do it. If this works as I think it can, this could be really helpful for some people. I decide to use my gas forge for this try. I crank it up from 5 to about 10 PSI. turn on my blower and the air blast really raises the temperature even more, but with the material being within the tube and sealed, I don't have to worry about excessive oxygen so much. a second heat for good measure, and this time I only hammer the piece flatwise. Tell the pipe hasn't welded just by the opening on the end. It might have been worthwhile for me to cut the pipe open when hot. The melting point of stainless steel is not much higher than for tool steels, but stainless steel is very heat resistant and that's what made me think that this might work. I've got myself a nice little billet of 1095 slash saw blade slash W1. I went a little too deep with the cutoff disc on the edges and the ends are a little bit ragged but otherwise pretty good. This is definitely a usable billet for a small knife made from some tiny tool steel scraps. 
further forging will refine this and I can get rid of that little bad end. I foresee myself doing this again and maybe also making some small decorative billets. I dug through my stuff and I found this slightly larger piece of stainless steel pipe. In the meantime, let me know what you think about this one and I'll catch you guys next time.